What's up, guys? This is the Just Cuz Podcast, a podcast where two cousins get together weekly, compete against each other, debate, and chat a little bit. How you doing, Joey? Doing great. New Year's Eve. Ready to get into some booze? Yeah, dude. And celebrate the new year. Yeah, bro. We got a little bit of uh, action in the glass tonight for New Year's. Don't drink a lot, but I got my apple juice. What'd you bring? Red Solo Cup. <laughs> got some Red Cabin here. Yeah. I'm not the biggest whiskey well, I fan. I got apple juice. You got grape juice. Not the biggest whiskey fan. Trying to change that, but not tonight. That's all right. You'll get there. We all grow up. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, how was your day today, dude? Phenomenal. Uh, woke up. My wife had work this morning. She works a wedding. She does hair, obviously. So... I was with the daughter all day. We watched some movies, played. Uh, then she got a little fussy, you know, mm-hmm. around the football game. Sure. But then she uh, fell asleep at the perfect time. She did. Got her to sleep 15 minutes before the game started. Was hoping she'd sleep through the whole game, but she did sleep through uh, I think about a half. No, I thought she woke up like during the fourth quarter. I think we watched most of the game. I don't know. Yeah. Regardless, I know that the Texans won. Texans got a huge win today against the uh, Tennessee practice squad. (laughs) I heard they called up a couple guys, practice squad, just to try them out, I guess, since they were eliminated from the playoffs. So that must Tennessee to turn it up next week, though. It'll be a huge game next week for sure. Yeah. Well, I got a few topics for us today, Joey. All righty. Something we could talk about. If at any point we need to have a little bit more discourse about a certain topic, we can. Okay. But um, you know what? Before we do this, let's tell the people a little bit about ourselves because this is our first show. Right? We've done a couple takes. Yep. This is, to be exact, this is our second take. Right. This is our second take. We did one recently and uh, we liked it. Editing was good and all that, but this is going to be the one we post, I feel like. But we're doing all different things, so we're not repeating any of this. But anyway, I'm Jake. I didn't say that, but I'm Jake. I uh, I am married, have a child on the way. I am 26, going on 27. Um, I'm a teacher, baseball coach, and soon to be part time uh, podcaster. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I am Joey, 26. Uh, currently trying to get my, uh, insurance adjusting license, uh, recently unemployed about two months ago. (sighs) Got to pause after that. (laughs) Kills me, breaks my heart every time. Yeah, it's all right. But it's all good. 2024 is going to be phenomenal. Going to be back on top. Yeah, we always say that we're going to be back on top. Never we seems never, to happen. We were never on top. Never on top, but maybe maybe 24 will be the year. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who maybe knows? Uh, maybe we'll be able to do stuff like this all the time. Nothing would bring me greater joy than to wake up and plan for this all day <laughs> and yeah, just do fun. this. It'd be fun. But, yeah, we're, uh, we're both cousins, so uh, that's why we're called Just Cuz. Um. But been best friends our whole life, and figured might as well make a podcast out of uh, our conversations, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's go into this part where some of these questions we're probably gonna like definitely agree on. Okay, some of them we may not like agree, but not want to debate. Some of them we might get pretty heated. I don't know. We'll see. But um, number one, and if your answer is not the same as mine or the rest of America or whoever is listening. We're going to have to fight about it. <laughs> okay. What comes first, cereal or milk? Uh, cereal. Okay, good. Because if you said milk, we would have had to end the podcast right there. Do people pour milk before the cereal? Yeah. Uh, so I've heard. I've never seen anybody doing it. Anybody that's done it's probably gotten shot on the spot. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they would do that. Because 
without having the perfect amount of cereal, you can't pour the perfect amount of milk. But if you pour the milk first, your cereal to milk ratio is going to be off, I feel like. Yeah. And it's splashing all over the place. So if you pour milk first, uh, change the way that you do things. We ought to check into how Ted Bundy ate cereal. Yeah. Because I feel like he's the type of guy that would have poured milk first. Yeah, dude. And probably. Dahmer probably poured milk first, too. For sure. Put a little for bit sure of Dahmer. teeth in there. Yeah. Whatever After else you like to milk. put in cereal. Yeah. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, probably only uh, cereal killers eat, <laughs> eat cereal that way. Okay, there's another one. What is the correct way to say the word D-A-T-A? Uh, I say data. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say data? I say data, I think. I think I think this one's very dependent on the circumstance. Like, if we're talking about, like, how much data do you have left on your hard drive or whatever? I would say data. But if we're looking at, like, a spreadsheet or something, I'd probably say, no, nah, I'd say data. <laughs> I'd say data <laughs> say both data. times. So you would never say data? I think I've said it before. Yeah. Probably, I probably I- said it. And then realized how stupid that sounds. Data. Data. Sounds like you're a baby trying to say dad. (laughs) Dada. Yeah. Dada. I feel like I've said both before, but I think. I don't know. Is there a correct way to do it? Huh? Audrey's probably called you data. That's probably why I relate to it so much. (laughs) Yeah. Audrey says data. Well, I think it's data. um, But, I mean, if. If you say data, I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, Jamie says data. We so she this. does. So yeah. your wife does. Right. Right. Okay. Opposites attract. Does Shannon say data? don't think she's ever said either versions of the word, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. I don't <laughs> know if she's ever said data or data. You never heard her? Never heard her speak. <laughs> no, but I've never heard her say data or data. Yeah. I guess it's not really a word we use a lot, but lately we've been using it because of this stuff. Did you do, real quick, do you have the word research in there too? Research? Are you talking about like research versus research? Have you ever seen Magic School Bus? Yeah. Okay. Well, Miss Frizzle says, says research. according to my research. And that threw me for a loop in the third grade. (laughs) I was like, why is she pronouncing this word that way? I think it's 100% research. I, I've never noticed Miss Frizzle say research, and I taught third grade, and I teach fifth. We watch it. You watch Magic School Bus? Yeah, well, I put it on and, you know. TikTok it up? No, I don't <laughs> do TikTok, but I'll be on MLB.com sometimes. Not in the middle of class. Well, next time you listen to it, pay attention Fundays. to that. Huh? I said next time you watch it, pay attention to her saying research. Yeah, I I will. I'll pause it and be like, what did she do wrong there? <laughs> Someone raise their hand and tell me what she said wrong. There you go. She said research. Okay, number three, which way should toilet paper face? Only one correct answer here. Which way should toilet paper face? Yeah, like if, okay, say if, <clears throat> my bad. <laughs> say if we have a toilet paper roll on my hand. Uh huh. Should the toilet paper come over the top or should it be in the back? And you pull it from the back. It should be overlapping the top. Overlapping the top like this. You're doing it weird. It's a different angle. So like if it's on, if it's on your right, it should be coming over the top. Right. Yeah. Right. Not up underneath. And you got to pull from the back. No, that's weird. No, yeah, that's weird. I agree. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be over the top. Otherwise, you're like pulling against the wall. And then it, it just keeps getting cut off. Yeah, I imagine you'd graze some knuckles trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, or if you're going and if you're going over the top, you can just keep going. Yeah. Which I'm learning a lot during these questions. I never knew that people poured cereal different or put their toilet paper on the wrong way. Yeah, no, I've been to houses where they have it on the wrong way. And it's it's frustrating. Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll take it off and put it on the right way. <laughs> I've probably ruined households. That's a that is a strong move. Yeah, dude. 
parents have probably yelled at their kids because of that. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. But as long as we agree. Okay, this one this one's interesting. What's the largest animal you can beat in hand to hand combat? <laughs> the largest animal that I could beat in hand to hand combat. Yeah. This is tough. Do you have an answer? I mean, and I'll do like an over under if I think I could or could not do that. Well, you're going to be able to take on a bigger animal than me. So you're going to have to do over on whatever animal I pick. But I've heard people say some wild answers for this one. Yeah. What about this? Gorilla. Uh, no. <laughs> under- <laughs> no. A gorilla is an ungodly amount stronger than human, obviously. Okay. So no. I don't I don't think I could take a gorilla. Hippo? Nope. Yeah. Nope. I th- I mean I'm thinking the, ostrich. The reason I'm thinking these dude, no. I could I could take an ostrich. No. No, yes I could. <laughs> you could not, dude. No, I could. That ostrich would first of all outrun you 100%. That's but fine, if, but if it's, but if it's try stuck to fight in a cage and y'all are fighting. Right. No. I'd make it out. You're not beating an ostrich. What are you going to do? Uh Probably grab its neck. Okay, and then what? And then pull it. And then <laughs> straddle it, put it in a triangle. I don't want to get too graphic, right, for everyone who loves ostriches, but I would make it out of the ring. I don't think so with an ostrich. See, I'm thinking for me, like, I'm just above probably dog. <laughs> like, Well, you're terrified of dogs. That's true. We'll, we'll go to cats. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could probably take... Um, What's right above dogs? Because I could take a dog. If wolf? I needed to take a dog. Could you take a wolf? Probably. A dog slightly above size dog. But also think wolf. Think about this. This is hand-to-hand combat. Right. So an ostrich, you don't have anything to like like trap it. Well, I guess you could use your body to trap it. But I mean like you're not you're not using a bat. You're not using anything. You're just trying to trap this ostrich's neck. This ostrich that runs 60 miles an hour. Yeah. But if we're in a if we're in an octagon that's closed in, yeah. Well, what what part of the neck are you gonna grab? Because if you I grab, mean any part, in any part of the ostrich's body, because running away from you would be the only way he would survive because they don't have like an attack. Dude, their neck. What do they do though? <laughs> With the beak. He could probably clip me a couple of times as long as he doesn't hit my my eyeball. Dude, I'm good. This ostrich is in complete defense mode. Right. So you got to think about this long neck coming down like a whip bah, with a beak. If it gets the top of your head, you're probably fine after two or three. But the jugular? That's true. That's true. I would need to do more re- research. <laughs> yeah, we need to research. On ostriches and how they would attack. You know? I guess. But let's think realistically. Because, I mean, an ostrich is iffy. I think flamingo. I'm taking a flamingo. Ostriches, I feel like, are are stronger and better. I used to be terrified of ostriches. That's the bird family, though. Let's do like a in the jungle. Do you, yeah. Do you think you can take a like a small chimp? Well, they're they're uh, ridiculously strong too, like their grip. Right. Um, a small chimp, though. Yeah. I could probably, if I get a hold of it, yeah. throw it off of a super high elevated area <laughs> and hope that it Dude, plummets. it's going to grab the tree on the way down <laughs> and just start climbing its way back up. I will make sure it lands on no trees. I'm going <laughs> to aim it for the the lake, yeah. but the rocks. Well, you talk about grip strength. Yeah. They're probably not going to leave you. Like, you know, they're going to be holding on. They are. They're going to grapple me. I do think a small chimpanzee is realistic. All you got to do is, you know, stomp on it. Right? If you can get it under your legs. Hmm? If you can get it under your legs. You probably got it. Yeah, I think chimpanzee. I think think that's doable. Okay. Chimpanzee. But anything bigger? No. What about a small, like, leopard? No. 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 No, like any kind of... Uh, like a baby lion. No. You're not beating a baby lion? Nope. 
I don't know, dude. Oh, what I mean, a, how small? What about a deer? Can we get? Can we agree we can take a deer? Yeah, because they don't have any uh, offense. Like they can run bucks, faster dude. than me, but they got the horns, the bucks or the antlers. Yeah, they have antlers, but I'm not sure that they are fully aware on how to use those during an altercation with a human. I know that they they you know you know they they against each other. I think that's an elk you're talking about. No, 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 that's a ram. Well, I know rams do that. <laughs> I've never, I don't know. I, I really, truthfully, I'm just going to let y'all know now, I know nothing about wildlife or animals. I just don't. So I don't know. Okay, but, but, but you think ostrich. I think I could take an ostrich, yeah. Okay. And I've seen ostriches because I used to be terrified of them, terrified of them you know, growing up because we'd go to those little zoos where you could drive through and feed right. the animals. Right. And an well, ostrich say, got very aggressive one time. Yeah, and they say, watch your fingers. Pecking. Yeah. They say, they'll watch eat your finger off. They'll eat them? Yeah, they'll think it's food. See? Yeah, I don't like ostriches. I really don't. So you'd want to fight it? I would want to. I have yeah. My group of friends uh, thinks that we could, all 12, like a fantasy football, all 12 of us in a ring with a lion, hand-to-hand, we win. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> I think that lion is one by one destroying us. That lion's going to be very full after that fight. Yeah, because you got to think these are wild animals too, and when they're in danger, they'll turn it on. Yeah, like they're not. They're not going down easy. Yeah, and it's something uh, a strength that you've never been able to experience before. It's like thousands of times stronger than we could ever imagine. Yeah. So I, I do think that – so yours is ostrich. I, I feel like ostrich could be possible, but I, I don't think I could take an ostrich just because they're probably pretty strong, like way stronger than me. Um, they just seem so fragile. Frail. Yeah. You know? I don't think they are. I could step on its, you know, meniscus, just snap that thing right in half, and then it'd be wounded. Yeah. I don't think they drink a lot of milk. Their their bones have to be weak. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I honestly I haven't ever done any research on ostriches, <laughs> but I know. Well, I don't think anyone's ever done any research on anything. Therefore, it's not a word. <laughs> but I think I can do something maybe bigger than an ostrich. I just can't think of any other animals. Um, no, no, obviously no, no form of bear, no, no form yeah, of no lion, bear. koala bear. I think koala bear is possible. Not polar, grizzly, black, bear, <laughs> koala. I wouldn't fight a koala bear. Why? Too cute. They're boring. They're too cute. Have you ever watched them? Koala bears are boring. Everybody thinks they're cute, whatever, but like if you sit and watch like a documentary, koala bears are boring. Awesome. You just <laughs> messed with my camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it's still good. <laughs> It is. It's got to be. Of all the things you can kick right there in that area, you kick my camera. <laughs> well, you got me in my uh, quarter over here. $30,000 of equipment here. Yeah. Okay. I think well, koalas are cute, but we'll move on. That's debatable. What happened to your computer there? you think it's still recording? Okay. Yeah, it is. All right, good. Or not. Um, yeah, I mean, so you you say ostrich. I'll say koala bear. I could probably take that's That's a big animal, right? I think so. And I'll take it. I would I would beat it up gladly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't hate koala bears. I just, I just think that I could beat it. Okay. Next question. All right. When you pee. Do you unbutton all the way, <clears throat> or do you just unzip? Use the, use the hole. Uh, Describe the way you pee to me. You go okay. to a urinal. Oh, we're talking at the urinal, at like, uh, or at my house. Either one. Okay. Is it a different answer? I don't know. I feel like uh, it really changes. Yeah, like sometimes I'll, I'll I'll use the zipper, you know, 
get yeah. that thing through there and then do whatever I have to do. But uh, sometimes fully unbutton. I don't know. Just depends on how I'm feeling. I will say if I'm in a rush, I'll just use the zipper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm in a rush. Yeah, yeah. Or if like I have a belt on. Sometimes. Yeah. Because I'm like. And then I'm it's not, like another step you got to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you ever you ever sit to pee? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I don't ever sit to pee. Why not? I'm not saying I do. <laughs> Oh, right. Well, why don't I sit to pee? Uh, it just seems like an unadded measure that I don't need to do. Okay. God, God gave me something I could just simply stand up and do. Okay, I get it. Um, but I sit to pee. I know this at home, and I and it's only because like I, I don't get it everywhere. I don't get pee everywhere. I just sit down. Like, girls never make a mess when they pee. Because they just sit down and do it. Guys, you know, nobody's aim is perfect. So, uh, I prefer to sit down so that I don't get anything dirty. Now, at a, a public restroom, I stand. I don't sit down at a public restroom to pee. Because that's a little much. You don't, you don't crouch don't at the urinal? How dirty. <laughs> I, I try and make it in the urinal. But, you know, like, I see pee all over the floor by the urinal. So, like, that is wild to me. It, are see. people's oh, the slits in different areas? Because mine's pretty centered up. So, like, where I aim to pee is where it goes. Oh. Now, if I'm inebriated, intoxicated, whatever, that's a different story. But obviously. That's why you keep the wipes next to the toilet, toilet paper, whatever you have to do, clean it up. But no, nah, on a normal day, I don't ever make a mess. I just center the center of the ring. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> some I've heard debate about this. Some people just use like they'll even unbutton and still use that underwear, the underwear hole or whatever. But I don't. I don't ever use it, really. When they sit down? No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, wait. No, when they stand up. Some okay. Use, like that hole in the underwear. I, I don't ever really use it. Oh, you don't do that? No. Oh, okay. No, I pull down. I pull. I pull well, some down. also some boxers they don't have that uh, hole where you can. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely sit down and. If, if people want to make fun of me, that's fine, but I'm clean. I don't get it everywhere. Okay. Anyway, um, what's the order of clothes that you put on out of the shower? So you get out of the shower, you dry off. What do you do? <clears throat> well, uh, certainly underwear first. Okay. And I've talked to you about this a couple weeks ago. It's not always the safest procedure, putting on underwear after the shower. <laughs> oh yeah, you said that. You said that you almost fell and like died the other day. Yeah, because when you're getting that first leg through, right? And it definitely depends on the material of the underwear. Yeah. But when you're putting that first leg through, right? My balance is terrible. So I'm putting my first leg through. I got my you know, mildly wet foot that I've just dried off, but it has like a rubbery texture, right? <laughs> And it gets caught on every fabric of the underwear. So if I do not get my foot through on the first attempt, that 0.5 seconds, my balance is up. Mm -hmm. And then let's say I get it stuck. So then I, I'm having a hard time getting my foot back out of the underwear. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, well, what do I do? Sometimes I, sometimes when I'm putting them on, I'm, I'm near the bed. So like I'll like fall into the bed and, be like, oh, and get back up. I, yeah, I just need to start sitting down to put my underwear on, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, underwear, uh, shorts, pants, shirt, okay. socks, shoes. Yeah. Is there another order? But socks and shoes have to come like 10 minutes later. Yeah, for sure. It's so hard to put on socks right after. For sure. The reason I ask is because I saw some people arguing about this. 
they said they do it in the order of their drawers. So socks first. Can you imagine? Getting out of the shower, press, clean, dry off, go to your drawer, get a pair of socks, and put those on first. I wonder what drawer their underwear's in because my underwear and socks are in the same drawer. Right. I think we need to look at how Ted Bundy got out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> he put he put the a, a beanie on first. And then he had the suspenders, throw those on under every clothing. Yeah. Then he started from there, underwear. Yeah. I don't know. Got the hacksaw first. Yeah. Then he went socks. Probably went socks first. And then shorts and then underwear underneath those. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Jeffrey Dahmer did the same. Uh, okay. This is kind of a, like, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is really is but does water have a taste uh yeah water does yeah i, I think i think i agree i think water does have like a, a mild taste because even if it tastes like nothing nothing is something no if it tastes like nothing then it's nothing but i think water has a something taste you know what I mean? Like it is definitely base taste, right? So like you yeah, just like everything starts at water, right? So no, it it it, it if we're comparing it to flavored f- items, the no obviously it doesn't have taste. It's 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 hard to explain. It's a hard question. I've never been asked that. Is water wet? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't have to get into. I that. stand. No, we're not going to get into it. But I stand by my original opinion on this matter i've been debunked and i kind of understand why i'm incorrect but i think water is wet water is wet i think that but that's just my original thought and i'm just too stubborn to change it at this point yeah i think that water is not wet right but that's a that's a conversation we can have another time um (laughs) <laughs> Number eight, can you smell air? Can you smell air? It's very similar to the water question. Uh, what's in the air? Like, are you are you baking cookies? Okay, that's cookies. Right. Just just air. No, yeah, you, just I, air. I mean, like, no, you can't smell air. What? I don't think. I feel like I feel like you can. Like in here, but the room has it's, a smell, you it's know? And the like when same you go outside, thing. the outside has a smell. So right. you're never really trying to smell air. But it's the trees, and it's the pollen. It's the... Yeah, all, all of it. Everything. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay, you can smell air, yeah. I think so. I don't think there's a, a generic air smell. Yeah, but once Is you there? get used to a smell, it smells like nothing at that point. That's true. But Plus, still, since COVID, still, man, I haven't. I, my sense of smell has been terrible. I, I it's hard COVID to smell. Last year, hmm? since COVID last year, no, nah, like two years ago, I think. Yeah. Well, you had COVID last year. I also had COVID last year. Oh, but the first time. Yeah, the first time is whenever it, uh, it messed everything up. Yeah, I remember that last year on your birthday, you had COVID. Yeah, we were, we were <laughs> Jamie restaurant. will never let me forget that. I know we were eating at this restaurant at uh, downtown Houston. It was like, it was like a seafood restaurant, the most prominent food that there is. And Joey was like, "I just can't taste it." <laughs> we were like, what do you mean? You're eating salmon and whatever you were eating, and uh, you were like, "I just, I just can't taste it. These allergies are killing me." We we're like, it's not allergies. You have to have COVID. Like allergies don't make you not able to taste that much. And you're like, God, I'm sick of people telling me I have COVID. It's just allergies. Next day I get a phone call. You might want to get tested. Well, no, that wasn't the whole story. Well, because we went out after. We went to truck yard. We went to truck yard. And I just started feeling... Yeah. Like crap. You're like, dude, my head is killing me. And I, and then it was one of those situations where I was just so stubborn that I didn't want myself to believe I had COVID. I was like, it's December 
you know, 16th, whatever. I get allergies all every single year around this time. So, uh, and then I really noticed that something was wrong with me whenever we were drinking, like, for my birthday. It was like we were celebrating my birthday, and I just didn't have the urge to drink anymore. And I was like, okay, something's seriously wrong here. Yeah. So, decided to get tested the next day. Then, of course, it was the dreaded calls to everyone I'd hung out with. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you think it's harder to call somebody and tell them that they need to get tested for COVID or like HIV? COVID for sure, though. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's not debatable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like for <laughs> HIV, it's like, do I even call? <laughs> <laughs> that's a gray area, but I I feel like you certainly should. Yeah. I mean, it's a harder it's like phone Michael call. Scott. Yeah, like Michael Scott. You might want to get tested. Yeah. I have herpes. Um, but COVID is tough because it's like. God, why would you even why would you even go out if you feel like you had COVID? I guess though. Right. Why would you go out of your house? I guess though. Why would you even have sex? Intercourse with someone if you think you might have HIV. That's a lot worse. Right. Yeah. A lot more goes into that than just walking to go into Walgreens or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. Online dating. Mm-hmm. Thoughts. <laughs> Thoughts? Oh, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. <laughs> I'm not either, but um, I never do. <clears throat> not because I'm not married, but because I hate having a ring on my finger. I have to take it off. I have to. I've barely gotten used to this watch. You have one of those comfortable ones too, huh? Like the yeah, but it's too small. It's tight. Oh yeah. I like the the watch. I have to wear it loose. It moves. So my thoughts on on uh, online dating, mm-hmm. Tinder. Uh, Do you have any experiences on online dating? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, how'd that go? <laughs> hey, God, let me let me uh, let me think about this. How did it go? Um, uh, not not well, not well. Obviously not. Nothing worked out. That's not I met Shannon. Right. Met my beautiful wife at a bar. Which is <laughs> <laughs> a notch above the online dating, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nothing... Nothing came... I don't think it's not fruition. doable for anyone, but the period of my life that I was in whenever I was using online <clears throat> apps was I had just... Me and my wife had actually just broke up. So there's like a, you know... she wasn't your wife. Right, right, right. We were just dating at that point. Uh, We had broke up for six to eight months. And I had completely forgot... Not forgot, but I wasn't at a place in my life where I was just meeting people anywhere. Which I feel like is so hard for people nowadays to, you know, meet someone other than online dating. Honestly, like, think of, like, where do you meet people? Grocery store? No. No, not personally. Nope. I'm not approaching anyone I see anywhere out in public. No, and at a grocery store, in fact, like, I I go out of my way to avoid people near me. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I avoid all eye contact. But, like, sometimes sometimes you meet people out in public, but not, like, dateable people, I feel like. Yeah. Not that I'm looking these days. I I haven't been looking for a while, but back whenever I was in public. I didn't really look to find anybody to date out in public. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just so happened to go to the same college as Jamie, so yeah, of course. We met. It was meant to be, for sure. Um, this is a an opinion that that I think is is kind of wild because I kind of agree. Spiders are not as scary as people say they are. Uh, I mean, spiders to me, obviously, are the scariest things on this planet. So, they're I don't so agree. They're small. Yeah, they're small. You can take an ostrich, but not a spider. Correct. I'd rather fight three ostriches over one tarantula. <laughs> tarantula. For sure. Yeah, I don't agree. Tarantula, you just step on, right? 
I can respect that you can't agree with that, but uh, I don't have ostrophobia. I have arachnophobia, <laughs> and I'm terrified of spiders. I know. I just, <clears throat> I've, I watched way too many spider movies growing up. They used to play those terrible CGI spider movies yeah. where a spider would take over a town. What about Spider-Man? Worked out for him. <clears throat> I guess Spider-Man worked out, yeah. But as a kid, you don't, I don't know, you, you pay attention to all the bad things. At least I did. So I watched the movie Arachnophobia at like six years old with my mom. She, shout out mom. It was a great idea for a movie for a six-year-old. And now here I am today, can't even kill a house spider for my wife. Look like a uh, less of a man. So, yeah. No, yeah, I'm terrified, so. Yeah, I'd rather kill a rattlesnake, poisonous one that at that than a non-poisonous spider. I think the brown recluse, the black widow, the the, the poison spiders, the venomous spiders. Uh, those are those are definitely like scary because like if they bite you, you could die. But all the other spiders, they're just spiders. Yeah, <clears throat> they're just creepy, man. The way they move around. Yeah, they got like eight legs. Yeah, they can move in any direction. An idiot has eight legs. A spider. Yeah. And they can move. They're shifty, right? Some of them you don't even know this. They don't. They don't identify as jumpers. You can approach one thinking you're just about to get an easy kill, right? (laughs) With the eight foot long broom, and it decides to do a little jump action. Yeah. You ever had one jump? Yeah. Yes, I have. Mm. How was that? It was a terrible experience. Yeah. My mom made me kill it because she wouldn't kill anything. Yeah. So I had to do it. But the rat experience was also equally as bad. Oh, the rat. At the apartment. Yes. I put my longest boot saw that I owned. Like I was about to go walking through the tallest cornfield of all time. (laughs) And this, it was a mouse, I think, actually. I don't think so. I think it was just a small rat. Like, you know, there's like Norwegian rats that are huge. This was a house rat, small. Right. Yeah. Um, But yeah, no, my my little brother, he was upstairs. What was he doing? He was peeing, I think. Either that or he was about to get in the shower because he looked in the shower. That's where it was. He said he was mid pee. It's kind of like the hangover Uh when Galifianakis is in there peeing. The tigers are just looking at him. (laughs) I think that's exactly how it was. That's how I picture it. Noah. Went in there, started peeing. Good thing he wasn't sitting down. That's true. I shouldn't sit down. That's uh, true. He was peeing. Slowly looked over. Saw something move. Slowly looks. Rat in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Poor this Noah. Rat, this rat, I guess, that got through the dra- uh, drain. I don't. I don't know. Rats can fit. But he jumped out of the shower. My brother ran downstairs at, with a 4-3 flat down the stairs and uh, he was like rat rat there's a rat and my dad of course tried to kill this rat so he went up, <clears> to, the, <throat> went up to the restroom the rat had already gotten into the little closet in there my dad opened that closet the rat ran out and went into another closet <laughs> and so my dad opens the the closet and just starts ripping things out just trying to get to this rat I've Super never heroic, seen dude. such a person ready for this moment than your dad killing this rat. Yeah. Well, at the Alvin house, he had a lot of rats. Remember? I do. Yeah. Computer. But um, he was strategic about it. He set mouse traps. This this rat, this particular rat, he was trying to literally square up with. Yeah. I know. He was trying to go twelve rounds with this rat. It was so heroic. I thought he was wearing a cape, dude. He was pulling all this stuff out of the. the was, I was like, I hope I grow up to be as badass runs, as your dad. Rat runs downstairs. Where yeah, I am. And you? No. <laughs> yeah, it went past you, and then uh, I'm pretty sure I did a backflip when I saw that rat, and I got onto like the ottoman, <laughs> and everybody was over here trying to corner this rat, and I was just staring, standing on the ottoman off to the side. I was like, I'm not going anywhere near this rat. <laughs> you play football, right? I did not. Right. Did you ever play defense? Uh, yeah. Okay. Or I guess, or I guess, did you ever? Uh, okay, whenever someone is you, okay, you're a defender trying to block or tackle 
a ball carrier who is quite intimidating. Sure. You know how you do one of those little, you know, half ass efforts to try to get to him, but you really just let him go right through you so you make zero contact? <laughs> That's exactly what I did with I that tried rat. To arm tackle the rat, bro. Dude, it ran right between my legs and I didn't move a fucking itch. It ran clearly through my legs and your dad was like, Oops. Your dad your dad happened to see that and he was like, Joey, what the hell are you doing? Get the rat. Like, what do you want me to do? Pick it up with my bare hands? Yeah, I No sir. I if this happened to Nana's too, she had a rat. But anyway, my dad ended up getting a was it a broom? No, it was like a is it a shovel? No, it was a piece to the bed frame of oh, Tanner's right. like bed. Post of the bed. It was frame. a post of a bed frame. And he he like smashed he, this rat's like brains in. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this guy should be like something professional. I don't even know. Exterminator, perhaps. Yeah, maybe he would be, be a phenomenal. Control. Huh? He should, be, he should be pest control. Pest control. He would be amazing at that. Because I've seen him kill many rats, not just that one. It's almost like he's born for it whenever it happens. He's yeah, ready. He just this this switch flips and he just turns into I mean freaking top tier top tier pest control. I there was a huge bug. It, I mean, it was the biggest bug. I didn't know have have any idea what it was when I was growing up. And we woke him up out of his sleep to come assess this situation. <laughs> We, me and my mom had been looking at it for 30 minutes, not walking past it because we were scared of what it was. Because I'd never seen it before. He comes out of his sleep, grabs this bug, grabs it off the wall, <laughs> opens the front door, walks outside, does a 360 spin launch into the wall. <laughs> this bug slow bladders. <laughs> and I'm like, I have some growing up to do. A 360 to the wall? I swear to God. He 360 chunked this bug. Like a curl hop 360? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think he did a garbage man throw, man. Like, <laughs> he was throw. he was throwing a, someone out from right field, bro. He was... Anyways, the the bug died. It, sure. it fell to the ground. Yeah. Dropped. When, the, when it hit the wall, though. Yeah. What sound did it make? I mean, it was loud. Like a thud. That's how big oh, yeah. it was. Like, it was the size it of It was a ball. thick bug, but it also had big, like, wings. It was almost like a huge... Uh, was it flapping? It that did have some scary. flappers. Yep. So, it was fly... It, it, it obviously... Alvin? Yeah, Alvin House. Yeah, that place had some bugs and rats, dude. Yeah. Good thing he's not there anymore. Um, oh, that's a funny story. 360 to the wall is funny. <laughs> I don't think you've ever heard of that one. No, I didn't know that one. That's good. Uh, do you eat the skin with the kiwi? What? Do you eat the skin with the kiwi? The fruit. Oh. Not the animal. That's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't ate a kiwi legitimately since, I think, fifth grade. They used to give them out as choices for lunch. So back and then, I loved kiwi. Did you eat the skin? I don't know how they serve it. I don't remember how they served it. It was cut up. It wasn't like a, a whole kiwi. It was cut up. Oh, so like so it was just the green. I think it was just the green for sure. It had like some like I don't know. It looked weird. It looked like it had a little bit of skin, maybe like a little bit of hair or something. Yeah. Did you eat that hair? I don't remember picking it apart. So I think yeah. <laughs> Are you not supposed to? <laughs> People do. Well, it's been a long time, People so I'm eat, good. So the outside of a kiwi is super hairy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, it's not hair, but it's like... Fuzz. Yeah, it, it's it's gross. If you eat the skin, I feel like that's gross. But people, people I, I saw online, people do actually eat it like an apple, like the whole kiwi. So it's not like a pineapple. You can bite into it. It's soft enough. Mm, the skin's pretty hard. It, the skin is hard. Okay, well then no. I, I think I just ate the fruit. I don't think I ate the skin. I don't think. It's like a potato. It's like potato. Do you eat the skin off the potato? Yeah. You do? Yeah. When you eat a like baked potato, you eat the skin? <clears throat> well, like just now for dinner tonight, we had a uh, crab, shrimp, you know, like the whole seafood. Sure. Get up with butter and all that. So yeah, it was served with potatoes. 
that had the skin on him. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not talking like little red potatoes where they're like you okay. the oven and you eat them. I'm talking you get a baked potato, you put like butter, sour cream, cheese. Yeah. And I'm not opposed to eating the skin, but I usually don't because I'm usually full from everything else I eat. I don't eat the skin as well. Because my sister, she cuts it up like a steak and eats it. Like the skin and all. And I think personally, I think that's gross. I would never eat the skin. In fact, when I get the skin in my mouth, I reach in there and pull it out. Because I think it's nasty. Do you cut up your apples into triangles and and take the skin off? Or do you eat the apple skin? I eat the apple skin. <clears throat> like a regular person. What Strawberry? Do Strawberry? Do I eat the, the top, like the leaves? No. Do you peel the outer strawberry? Who the hell pulls it? <laughs> you talking like it's all the same stuff. Huh? Skinning a strawberry? Yeah. No. If you feel weird about one fruit, <clears throat> you should feel weird about all fruit skin. <laughs> no. It's like eating a pineapple. Okay, okay. That's a little different. I mean, you could break a tooth eating a pineapple. Yeah, I mean... Or an orange, okay. okay an orange, orange yeah. you don't... You obviously have to peel that. You don't eat the skin on an orange. Right. Right. Though people do. Because they say that it makes you feel like... Kind of high. High? Yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do at the end of New Year's? Ball drop? Get you an orange? <laughs> I might go to H-E-B real quick and grab an orange. <laughs> no, but... Uh, apparently, apparently it does. <clears throat> I've never tried it. I mean, people eat all kinds of stuff, man. Like, people are on these raw meat diets. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wait, raw meat? Raw meat. Like liver. Beef tartare? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, like that's, that. That's just raw beef. But they also eat, you know, livers. Like, you've seen the liver king, right? No. You've never seen the liver king? Mm-mm. Oh, he's this super uh, yoked. 45 year old man <clears throat> and he uh yeah there you go oh, my. yeah he lives on a straight liver uh test meat animal testicle diet and he has his whole family on it <clears throat> but apparently he just admitted that he was taking some sort of uh steroids like six months ago so i don't know but anyways Moving on from liver, liver. Well, props and they to don't that get guy. sick, so I don't know. Somehow they don't get sick. Props to him, dude. He looks incredible for eating liver. Well, if he did steroids, then he's he's right. Not, but he's his not workouts mad. are insane. He does crazy workouts like that. No one I couldn't do. Anyone steroids. that I know could do right. Steroids could definitely be help with that. But I'm sure his diet has a little bit to do with his liver physique and as steroids, well. Steroids, though, is that the new wave? Because I want to look like that guy. Nah, I mean, steroids, I'm sure, help with his working out, but, dude, his diet has to be a, another reason that he looks like that because he's lean as hell, too. Like, he's not... Yeah. Yeah, you know, like... Must be nice. Steroids. Speaking know. of, any any New Year's resolutions for you? This is a New Year's... This is New Year's Eve. We got, like, a few minutes till the ball drops. Uh, New Year's resolutions? Yeah. Uh, I certainly hope to get a job here soon. <laughs> Out of all the things I could wish for, I certainly hope to provide for my family this year. <laughs> that would be dope. Yeah, I but guess, I guess the job that takes that takes the cake for number one for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then secondly, on to more some some more uh, you know, personal things. Uh, obviously, to get absolutely shredded out of my mind. Yeah. But, you know, how that goes. I think that's been my re New Year's resolution uh, 26 years since now. the sixth grade, I think. <laughs> yeah. So well, here's what I'll say. We did very good this year. We're not shredded. Sure. Yet. I think we stayed consistent in working out. Yes. However, so we'll continue to work out. But I think I did a good job for about six months with my diet. Yeah. But, but I think we need to do even do more with our diet. Yeah. Like really look into what we're eating, and I think we need to count our macros. As boring as that is, and hard as it is, yeah, I just think I don't proteins, know. proteins, fats, carbs, eat all the right amount of that. 
I know. That just sounds boring to me. It is boring. It's for sure boring. And that's why I like to pick one meal that works within all those numbers and eat it every day. Yeah. I mean, I could do that, I guess, but I don't, I don't want to. But anyway, yeah, diet. Um, that's pretty much it, man. I think New Year's resolutions can be dumb because no one ever does them. But we did, though. This year, we did. January 1st, we we uh, worked out five days a week until, like, recently, like, the last couple weeks. Two, the holidays two weeks or so ago? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This has certainly been the most uh, consistent year of working out that I've ever had. Yeah, same. Except for probably, like, high school when we were forced to do it. Yeah, high school baseball. But even then, we had off, off months. Yeah, for sure. Or we wouldn't work out. Yeah. I know I wouldn't. Yeah, me either. <laughs> me either. Okay. Give me three. Give me three weird, quirky habits that you have. <sighs> okay. Um, three quirky, weird habits that I have. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's something that you do that you don't think anybody else does? I'll save my weirdest one for last. Okay. Uh, my first one, I typically, I can't say it's a, a habit, but it's definitely something that I try to do every night. I have to have a glass of milk before bed every night. Just a glass of milk before bed? Yeah. Preferably yeah. with, with a piece of chocolate before. Yeah. Do well. you warm it up too? No, I don't warm my milk up. Yeah. Do you? Um, No. But I know that's what uh, 80-year-olds do. They warm their milk up. It's supposed to help with sleep, I think. Oh, if babies. you warm your milk Obviously up. Obviously, babies, you warm their milk up. Right. Put you to sleep. Formula, I guess. I think they do it with milk, too. Oh, wow. We haven't tried that. We ought to. I, I could be wrong, though. No, I, I think I've heard yet. of that. Like they heat, I think the formula up when once they make it. But anyways. Anyway. But yeah, I, I drink a glass of milk before bed every night. Okay. But I love milk, so that's yeah. not that weird. Uh, yeah, you want to start with one as well, then we'll just go back and forth. Sure, I'll I'll give one. Um, one of my weirdest habits is, um, I I don't I don't love taking my clothes off because it's too much work. So sometimes I'll lay on the bed and put my legs up like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll just have like Jamie take my pants off. <laughs> okay, yeah, bro. I like literally laid. I'm not even joking. I literally go like this. I lay on the bed. I literally. <laughs> Can you help? <laughs> Can you take my pants off? Holy. And uh, really, I'm just getting her prepared to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> or or to take care of me in my old age. But that could um, be good. That could be useful. I never knew that. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I never I never tell anybody that. So why not reveal it to you now? What do you think is the is the cause of that though? I, I just think that taking taking your pants off is just so like first of all, let me preface by saying this. When I take when that happens, I'm not like expecting anything to go down. Like I'm not like, can you take my pants off? Yeah. Like it's more like help me. <laughs> you know? Help me. These are tight. Yeah, these these suck to take off because like my like if, especially jeans because like I'll pull and like they still don't go over my foot. I'm trying to get it. So. It's because you have under 30% oxygen left in your brain from those pants. I know the pants you used to wear, man. They were they were like drawn on. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but I mean, they're not even that tight. Like they're regular the least are regular jeans, and I'll lay down and and like I'll I'll even sit down. And I'm trying to get them off. I'm like, Ugh. why not? Why not have Jamie help me out? Wait, 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 wait a second. How do how do you try to take your pants off? Uh, I try to pull down from the from the cuff on the bottom. How do you take them off? <laughs> why? <laughs> That's just the way to do it. I don't know. I don't want you don't have any leverage that way. Why don't, why don't you pull from out. the top? Well, then they'll be inside out. Right. 
But once you get them off, that's a much easier process to put your hand through. If I'm in a hurry. And pull it out. If I'm in a hurry, yeah, I'll whoo, drop them, stomp, stomp my way out. Yeah. You know? Sure. But. Dude, I, I've never took pants off like that. That must be exhausting. Me either. <laughs> Just bending over to reach down there. I don't, I don't think there. I wore pants before Jamie. Oh, that's not happening. Well, of course, like I start, like I take a little bit off. And then, okay. I, and then I do the bottom. I've noticed that there's a lot of things that you do that you just like become like that sound exhausting to you. Yeah. And like, you know, it's like shopping. You, shopping. you seem to get irritated while shopping. Yeah, I do. Now taking your pants off. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the, pretty much the necessities of life. Right. I'm not a big fan. I Laundry. love the necessities of small things of life. Like, like we've talked about this before. We're kind of getting off track here, but I love doing chores around the house. Oh dear, I hate. I love it. Yeah, I'm dishes, gonna... loading the dishes, not unloading. You like loading better than unloading. I like loading better. I'm an unloading guy because I don't like my hands to get all dirty. Let me ask you this real quick: Do you like to use lotion on your body? No. Any kind of wet ointment? No. Sunscreen? No. Aloe vera. If I have a sunburn. Right, but you still hate it, right? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I hate all those things too. I will not put... I, I, I don't use lotion. I don't use sunscreen. Yeah, because it's like... Ew. I mean, I'm pretty pale. So, I I mean, it's like... it's My wife won't let me go out the house to the beach if I don't have sunscreen on. So, I can't work my way around that. But... Spray, spray sunscreen's not bad. It just like the rubbing it in. That mm-hmm. kind of sunscreen, I don't like. Right. But if you can just spray me down, I'm good with that. However, I don't like off, though. I'd no, I don't like off either. I'd rather mosquitoes annihilate me than to put off on. I don't think off works, personally. Every time I've used off, I still get bit a See, lot. See, I don't ever use off because I hate it. So, I wouldn't know. If well, it works. you're not missing much. I don't think it works. But I could be wrong. Um, I... I I'll, ask, I'll tell you this. I hate taking my clothes off so much that I'll come home after a long day of work, slacks, hood, uh, like over, uh, what's it called? Not a hoodie. Like a, uh, Check. a pullover. A uh, pullover? Pullover. Slacks, pullover, or jeans even. And like, I'll just lay on the couch and take a nap in those clothes. Like, I don't, I don't go straight to my room and, and get unchanged, put on sweatpants, none of that. I don't get comfortable. I come home, and I don't take those clothes off until I put on my pajamas. Do you? Do you come home and get changed? I do. Well, you had to, though. But With your, with your previous job, you had to. Otherwise, you'd be gross. Right. right I work inside. Right. You didn't. But, but well, say, not whenever I worked the, shopping, like, the inside job. Right before that job, I didn't... Uh... I guess it depends on what I was wearing, right? So, like, what I usually wore to work was, like, jeans and boots and a collared shirt. So, I wasn't, like, super dirty. But I think why I don't find that stuff irritating is because something about me likes the uh, completing simple tasks throughout the day. It makes me feel accomplished, especially during my period of my life right now where I don't feel like I get a lot accomplished. So, you know, doing the dishes, doing laundry, doing uh, little things like taking my clothes off like and putting them where they need to go and all that kind of stuff, it makes me feel more accomplished. One thing I will not do and I would never will do, and I don't care who says it's good to do, is make, make my bed. Yeah. Uh, get the f- get out of here with that because I, I will not do it. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I mean, Jamie likes to make the bed. Uh, and if we wake up at the same time, she'll be like, can you help me make the bed? And I do. You know, just to be a good husband. But myself, my own doing, never. I'll never make the bed. What's the point? I they, don't know. They say because you complete, you start your day by completing a task. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna make it dirty again, in like twelve hours. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't have to worry about that with my wife because she could care less. Yeah. About anything cleaning related. <laughs> if she had it her way, I'm we would way. not have hangers. We would just have a floor of our room and she would pick clothes off the floor off her bed off a chair that we have in the room dude 
Seriously. anywhere in the house. Seriously, me too. I would live out of a suitcase. I feel like you I and Shannon are much more similar in that aspect, and me and Jamie are more similar in like the cleaning aspect. Yeah. If if I didn't have Jamie, I don't know if I'd be alive. <laughs> if Jamie's not around, you certainly wouldn't be functioning. You'd yeah. Be alive. Jamie, if Jamie's not around, like if she goes out of town or something, I literally don't eat. Like I don't eat at all. That's wild. Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't cook for myself either, though. I'll just go get food. Yeah. If, if Shannon's out of town, which. Yeah. I well, but sometimes I, I don't feel like getting out and going to get food, and then I'll like I'll fill out a whole Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever, and it's like I don't know, thirty five dollars a lot for <laughs> this me. Is Twenty more dollars than it usually is. <laughs> yeah. Is it so, that good? So I don't do that. I, right. I just I just get out of it, and then Uber Eats is like. You forgot to finish your order. You forgot to finish your order. I'm like, I'm not paying that much. I'll just wait for Jamie to come home on Tuesday. Which is... <laughs> it's Sunday. Which is another reason why milk is so great. Because it fills you it's up? filling. Hmm. It's filling. Anyway. But, what, uh... What's your other What's your other weird habit? Alright, second thing on the list. I'm trying to remember my, my second one. I am too. I know my third one, but, uh... You didn't write them down. You did, but on your phone. I I guess that for some reason my notes that specific note hasn't converted over to this. Oh, okay. Well, well uh, my MacBook. But to be anyways. fair, I told you to do that like right before this, just so that just so that we can. I could all the other stuff I didn't ask you about. That was that was just straight up those questions. But the three habits I did want you to think about before. But well, I have the third one. I can tell you that one. And then I'll think of the other one while I... Sure, what's your third? <sighs> so, my weirdest thing that I think that I do, that I don't think anyone else does, and I may be diagnosed right here live on this podcast. Someone's going to comment and be like, yep, this is what you have. But anyways, I clench my jaws okay. like back and forth from like... <laughs> The left side of my jaw to like the right side of my teeth, I guess. And like throughout the day for like random things. If I'm listening to a song, I'll, you know, go back and forth with my jaws. Or it, when I was a kid, it was really bad. I would be driving, it'd be, I'd be driving, you know, down the road, right? And just looking at like everything, like street signs or lights. Every like, you know, 200 feet, there'd be a light. And I would, Clinch it back and forth. it back and forth. Like it didn't have to be it have to end on an even number. If that isn't something, I don't know what that is. But anyways, that's for certain has to be the weirdest thing I do. That is strange. That's very strange. Hey, let me ask you this. If you're doing volume on a TV, does uh the numbers matter? I mean, yeah, I I mean I put it on an even number for sure. Yeah. Me too. I put it on an even number unless it's a multiple of five. Like, I'll go to 35 or 45, but not not 37. Is that one of your things or no? No. Oh, okay. No, that's just... So, it's weird that you have a... Like, a, a preference mm-hmm. on that because of your, you know, other personalities as far as other things. Like, you know, you're not like... Like, OCD, I feel like, is what it is a form of in that and also of what I do. It's like OCD. Like, I, I mean, if I'm telling you if I, I, I don't, I cannot finish on like an odd number or else don't know what'll happen. Cause I've never done it. No, you know, I, I get it because like, it'll eat at you. Yeah. Like that's one thing about like popping my fingers. Like if someone pops their fingers and like, say we're in church, right? Someone pops their fingers and see, I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> if someone pops their fingers and like, I'm trying to like not think about it. I'm like looking at the, the pastor. And then, like, 10 seconds later, I'm like, God, you should pop your fingers. <laughs> and, like, 30 seconds go by, and I'm like, I'm going to kill myself if I don't pop my you fingers. You still haven't popped those fucking fingers. <laughs> yeah. you got to pop those. So, I have to. <laughs> right. Okay. So, that what that is, it's a, it's a mild case of schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> no, Apparently, baby. voices in your head are completely out of the normal. No. Well, this well, is what I was well, told Random the other day. voices, sure. I have my own voice in my head, though. Duh. Okay. Everyone does. I got at least two of those voices in my head. So there's like three of us. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Swear to God. No. I'm not saying there's three different voices. Like there's three different people telling me what to do or nothing, nothing like that. But like, I'll have like two different opinions in my head, but then I'll have to choose which one. I'm like, oh, well. Oh, so you got like an actual guilty conscience thing going on. You For sure. Angel on one shoulder, devil on the other. No, I think that that's... Uh, I think that's normal. That's normal, yeah. Everyone Having has a conflicting conscience. Conflicting thoughts, for sure. Yeah. But I thought that I thought that maybe you had three personalities going on. No. No, I wish I did, though. You had depressed Joey? OCD Joey? Oh, I certainly had silly, different personalities. Silly Goose Joey? Silly <laughs> Goose. Drunk Joey? Oh, that's probably Silly Goose. Yeah. Actually, unless you're mad. Whew. When you get mad when you're drunk... It's scary, like, oh man. Well, Tennessee was it? Nashville was not that bad, dude. <laughs> Nashville was the worst, dude. I was, I was a no. I had to freaking John of... Cena carry you all the way to the hotel, and you yeah. tried to fight a homeless guy because you were mad that he was sleeping there, like it was your territory. Well, that makes me sound like an absolutely sh- piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I mean, yeah. When I'm drunk, I just do. Clearly, people do stupid, stupid stuff. Yeah, I remember checking your location, and you were like, "So we were, we were like on one side of the what's the street with Broadway, and you were on the other side by the river." In a matter of minutes, I was like, "What is Joey doing by the river?" I think depressed Joey was trying to come out right there. (laughs) I was really debating jumping off the freaking bridge into that water. I remember like running down Broadway trying to get to you. Oh, yeah, and that's when I fell you. down the stairs, and then <laughs> I pulled up the fucking weather app or something stupid, because I, I, I tripped down the stairs as I was already way too intoxicated to be doing anything at this point. And you were just laying there. You were like... And then I fell, and but you then saw I was... some girls? I saw some girls pulling up, and I was like, this is on my bachelor bachelor party. Right, right. Uh, I tripped down the stairs, and I was going to get up initially, and instantly, right? But then I saw a group of girls, so I was like, well, mm. maybe if I just act like I want to be here right now, like <laughs> this is purposeful, that yeah. it won't be as stupid, right? Yeah. So I pulled up like the weather and app, scrolling. and I was like, okay, so definitely pants tomorrow then. <laughs> and then I got up, continued my walk, and then my, you know, it worked because I didn't feel as bad anymore. Yeah, well, like it, that's my that's one of my favorite story. Like you, you tripped down a flight of stairs, and then pretended like you meant to do it. Yeah, that's hilarious. That takes legitimate skill. Yeah, like you like pulled out your weather app, like, <laughs> "Dang, this is nice. This is cozy." And it, it, what's funny is like there was another flight to go down. Like people had yeah. to like, pretty much essentially step over you to walk down the other. It could have been worse for sure. I could have tumbled over that little flat surface and then tumbled down the second flight of stairs. Yeah, and then you would have went into uh, concussion pro- protocol. <laughs> Miranda Lambert's little territory down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where we were, right? I think we were at Miranda, Miranda Lambert's, Lambert's bar. Dude, there's a, a a bug trying to get in, bro. As long as it's not a spider, I'm fine. Let it in. <laughs> Three sixty, that thing, dude. <laughs> uh, now another weird habit I have. They just brought this up, actually. Mm-hmm. Since I can't think of, I don't know. Is when I put on deodorant, I'll go one arm, one arm I, and I have to do it 12. 12 times. 12. 12. Even number. Stripe down the chest. Stripe down the arm. Stripe down the arm. Rub it in. And you smell magnificent. Right? They say you're not supposed to do it because it, it, uh, it dries your skin out. <laughs> but I got freaking, like, I got, I got pretty... Pretty normal skin, I feel like. So, deodorant on the arms, underarms, chest, both arms. I do four swipes per armpit. Four. Four. Must be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never learned how many I was supposed to do, though. Twelve seems like a lot. Twelve. Well, let me, let me, let me say. Do you use, like, Old Spice or something? I do. Yeah. That's enough. Four is enough. Do but, you use the like? Do you like the like the gel kind no, of no, or the no. powder? Not powder either. It's the not other. powder, but like the hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the gel. The dry. It's Gel's dry. Gross. 
Yeah, gel's gross. I, well, okay. I, but we had this uh, this this certain brand we were using, me and Jamie, and they actually went out of business. I Doctor Squatch. No, I think they went out of business though. Um, so I use Native. Native. Yeah, and if you don't use enough Native, it doesn't work. So I gotta get I gotta get like a lot under under my arms. I never heard of native. Maybe overkill, but it's uh you never heard of native? I don't think so. It's pretty I've pretty, pretty much always brand. stuck with uh old spice or before that uh speed stick. Hmm? Speed stick. Good old speed stick. Yeah, dude, the old reliable. When I was remember whenever we were like in like fifth, sixth, seventh grade, like that era? Axe. And yeah, dude, just didn't take a shower after like football and just Put your school clothes on and just... Well, because Axe Spray, it actually cleaned your whole body. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we thought. At least it was what we thought. Yeah, we thought we were showering. But the way that we smelled probably throughout the day... Horrible. Terrible. Yeah. 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 I mean, as a teacher now, for fifth graders, yeah. Shower. For sure. You need to shower. Everyone needs to shower regularly. And... Don't try to mask it with deodorant, cologne, nothing. Just shower. Yeah. Yeah. And use a loofah. Yeah, use a loofah. As well. So That's you, important. So you do? You use a loofah? I use a loofah. How deep? Uh, do you get like super deep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go so deep. Yeah. Dude, seriously, I'm pretty sure I clean my prostate whenever I do it, whenever I shower. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need a prostate exam. You just take a fucking copy of your damn loofah. You just bring an extra old loofah. <laughs> I'm like, you needed this? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, uh, I, that's just how I do it. And I know because some people don't even use a loofah. They just use their hands. It's like, how do you even clean yourself? In areas- For a long time, I used my hands because I didn't know you are supposed to, like, I didn't know that there, I don't know, was a right way to wash your body. But... Right. Obviously, using a loofah, you can scrub. You know, it gets in there more. Yeah, I just feel like your hands don't like get you that clean. Like it makes you probably smell like soap. Smell good. It makes you smell fine. But yeah, getting in there. When we're talking about areas elbow that need grease. to be cleaned daily. You got to use a loofah or something. And you shower once a day, right? Most yeah, most of the time once. Um, sometimes twice. Yeah, well, depending base, on activities. With if baseball you... season coming up, it'll be twice. Right. Because I'll shower in the morning for work. Yeah, I'll come over here, work out, shower, go to work, go to baseball, and then I got to shower after baseball, normally. Mm-hmm. Not always. Some days we're inside. Some days we're not doing much. But, yeah, most of the time. I generally shower once once a day, if yeah, applicable. Yeah, if, or yeah. Applicable. Applicable. Okay. Yeah. I used to say applicable. If you had to guess, how long would you say we've been doing this? Dude, I think I just looked at it. Is it an hour and 45 minutes? (laughs) How intoxicated am I? Not intoxicated. I don't feel like I am. No, you're not. We've been going Um, for an hour and 47 minutes? An hour 22. Oh, that's not good. I can't even read right. It says 2476.4 for me. Yeah, mine says on hour two, right. 22 minutes in, 30 seconds. Anyway. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. This has been the Just Cuz Podcast. We got plenty more to talk about uh, in the coming weeks. We are going to get together once a week on Sundays um, after football. and uh, this After is- church. Yeah, and after church, obviously. Church, football, podcast. Um, so stay tuned for more. Uh, we appreciate you for listening. and. Um, We'll see you next time.